All right, y'all ever just want to chill out and, you know, maybe collect some pearls, you know, do some puzzles, but then a spooky ghosty boy shows up and says some really relatable shit, because that's what we're about to get into. Hey guys, and welcome to Scratch the Itch, a series where I play indie games from itch.io and try to find ones that scratch that gaming itch we sometimes get. The game we're checking out today is Pearl Grabber by Yato I'm Top. I really hope there isn't some actual way to pronounce that because if there is, I just like completely butchered it. I digress though. Uh, the game is simple. It's about finding clams and grabbing their pearls. Literally, that's it. That's the game. All right. Um, it's free to play and it runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Y'all really probably thought that there was more to this. Nah, that's, that's about it. I don't know where I really want to start with this game. Um, there's just so many good things to talk about. I love the overall style and vibe this game gives off. The graphics are just fantastic. They remind me of like PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 graphics, but like they're game defining to me. Like I just, I couldn't imagine this game with any other graphics. I mean, overall it was like a super cozy and relaxing atmosphere. And I think if that was their goal, they did a fantastic job at capturing that. So I wasn't joking in the game's description when I said this game is literally about grabbing pearls, uh, but it's fun. It's fun running around the island finding each clam. Uh, some are easier to find than others, but overall they're pretty easy to find. Um, the additional puzzles with like the beach ball and the art museum were also really great. Um, I had noticed these when I was looking for clams, uh, but I didn't quite really put two and two together. But boy, when, when I realized what I needed to do, it was like an epiphany. And I just like, I wanted to go do those right away because it was so satisfying to like finally click and understand what those puzzles were. Um, I really enjoyed both of those. I mean, they weren't super hard or anything, but it was just, I don't know, it was such a nice little puzzle to throw into the game. I, I really liked it. The characters are really well done. I liked all of their personalities, their dialogue, and the parts that they played in the game. The statue was funny, but also like put off a bad vibe after a while. Uh, the guy on the big statue made me just kind of want to sit and chill with him and just like relax. And Spooky Ghosty Boy hit me with some really big mood statements that were super relatable. Super, super relatable. Um, I don't know, man. On those things things on top of like the way things were described to you and how you were told to use your arm and shovel were like fantastic like really well done the writing is really good in this game this game was super cozy and i had a lot of fun playing it and because of that i was kind of sad to see it end when i grabbed all the pearls i was secretly hoping i'd get transported to another island with another set of characters and more pearls to find. And it, it was just really good. I really just, I wanted more when it all ended. <laughs> I really wanted like, hey, this is level one. And this is level one out of like five, but that didn't happen. So we have yet another familiar face in this category, settings menu. For a game like this, I, I'm not expecting a full-fledged settings menu with like graphics and all that swanky stuff, uh, but a basic volume slider or sensitivity slider would have been cool to see. Um, also like a full screen option. I don't know if other people have this issue, but like the game is windowed for me and I can't make it full screen. If I hit the like full screen button, it just like, it teleports my cursor into the game. So super weird, but yeah, I would have liked this to have a full screen option. So does Pearl Grabber scratch the itch? Obviously, like I honestly feel like I didn't quite put into words how much I really enjoyed this game. Um, it's simple fun with neat and relatable characters and good music. And you really should just definitely go check this out. Like it's free to play and it's definitely worth the hour or so play time that you'll get out of it. And uh, Yato, I'm top. If you're watching this, I'd really like a sequel or five or just more levels, you know, whatever it is, I, I, I want more, right? I want to go find more pearls. I want to go just around more islands and solve more puzzles. I had a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching. Pearl Grabber definitely scratched an itch and I hope you check it out. See you all next time.